Hey guys, this is Ricardo back on the Watch With Us channel. Been on hiatus for a couple of weeks, but boy do I have a treat for you guys. In for review, we have the Rado Captain Cook Automatic Bronze. Now, the Automatic Bronze was released earlier this year. Um, it was released in a set of three different colorways. So this came out in a blue, a brown, and of course this beautiful stunning green we have in front of us right now. Now in terms of specs, I'll, I'll get those out of the way. First the watch comes in at 42 millimeters. We have a reasonable lug to lug of 45 millimeters. Thickness comes in at 12.5 millimeters thick so it's definitely not a big boy in terms of thickness we get 300 meters of water resistance which is aided by that screw down crown which is signed we get AR coating on both sides of the crystal it comes with this beautiful green ceramic bezel and you have this beautiful emerald green dial. Lug width comes in at 21 millimeters. It comes on this greenish, I'd have to say greenish almost, you'd swear sometime it's a dark brown leather strap which tapers from 21 millimeters at the case down to 18 millimeters here at the buckle. Inside the watch, we have the Eta C07.611 movement. This movement beats at 21,600 beats per hour. And the benefit of that is the watch actually gives us 80 hours of power reserve on a full wind. Now I'll show you guys the case back, which, thank you Rado, is not in bronze, so you don't have to worry about any staining of your wrist. You get the three stars and the three seahorses, which are part of Rado's logo. Here you have, on the case back, it says, Bronze and high-tech ceramic, Rado, the rotor resistance, Swiss made, and the serial numbers. Also wanted to point out that the buckle is bronze as well. And speaking of bronze, of course the big appeal of this watch is this beautiful bronze case. Now, interesting note on this watch, unlike many other bronze watches that you've seen out there on the market, this is a different form of bronze. The bronze on this is actually a mixture of aluminum and copper, whereas most standard, well, most bronze watches are actually made of standard bronze, which is a mixture of tin and copper. Biggest difference you'll see when it comes to that is just the way the watch patinas. So instead of that greenish aqua blue that you see on most heavily patinaed watches, this watch actually just patinas by getting these dark spots that you see here on the case. So over a long period of time, the whole case is just gonna get into that, that beautiful dark, dark color you see on these spots here. Now, if you're wondering what other watches use that, a good example of other watches that also have and use that type of bronze is actually the Tudor Black Bray Bronze. So if you see pictures of the patina of that watch, that's what you're gonna end up getting with this watch. Now, also going back to the case, it's a mixture of brushed and polished edges. So you have this coin edge bezel you have that little bit of polishing right underneath the bezel. 
and you have that brushed case. Straps are quick release, as you can see right here on the back of the watch. Some more touches here on the dial. You see it says Swiss made at the bottom there. Captain Cook, 300 meters, 1,000 feet. See the Rado logo there, and it does spin for those who are wondering. So if I spin the watch and just shake it that way, you'll actually see the logo moves a little bit there. Also, if you pay close attention, you'll see on the date wheel, it's a white background with red lettering. Now, I've spent about two weeks with this watch, and I have to say, uh, I, I'd like to give you guys some negatives, but to be completely honest, I can't really think of any negatives. Um, it's been nothing but beautiful highlights when it comes to this watch. First thing definitely is that beautiful emerald green dial. Um, it really stands out. Uh, especially in sunlight, it's, it's just this, you feel like you're going to fall into it. it. It almost seems like this green cauldron of, of, of greenish, darkish liquid. It's just, it's beautiful. And the box sapphire on this also helps. So every angle you're viewing this watch, it just really just pops. Another thing I really like about this watch is the bezel action, which is just amazing. It's sharp. There's no, no playback. It's just, just very firm. The click, oh, it's just beautiful sound. It's 120 clicks. So you get those fine, precise movements just oh man I can't stop playing with that just the sound loom on this is amazing as well I'll let you guys take a quick look I mean in a dark room that just stands out easily legible as I said, there's really no negatives on this watch. I've, I've had it for about two weeks. I've worn this at least a dozen times in those two weeks. Um, yes, in the back of my mind, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, you know what, I, I, I would have loved to have seen this on a bracelet, but it's bronze. So I mean, many of us don't wanna deal with the hassle of a patinaed bracelet. So on this leather straps, on this leather strap, it just really stands out. Overall, the watch is just a winner in my book. Uh, I would love to also see this in the other colors, but another benefit is green and bronze. Green and that goldish color, they, it just works. It just works. Another thing I was worried about is, as I stated earlier, this comes with that lower beat ETA movement, the 80-hour power reserve movement. Um, I thought... You know, I, I, to be completely honest, I've had my times where I've, I've been a, a strong anti low beat type of guy. I, I like the 28,000 movements. Um, I always thought that, you know, the slower the movement, I would clearly see it and it would just get on my nerves. But I have to say, maybe it just goes with the, the vintage aesthetic that this watch has. That slower beat one is barely recognizable and two, I mean, when you do recognize it, and I mean, when you're actually staring at it, it just works with the overall aesthetic of the watch. It, it just, plain and simple, it just works. But as I said, overall, I think this is a great watch. Um, before I, I sign out with you guys, um, quick 
information in terms of pricing. This watch actually comes in at $2,600. Let you guys get some more close-ups of that beautiful dial. As I said, I, I, I've had it for about two, three weeks. No downsides I could think of. Um, everything just works on this watch. The 42 millimeter sizing just works. And you know what, just to give you guys a better idea, I'm gonna toss this on my wrist. Um, just so you guys remember, I have a seven and a half inch wrist. And there it is. It, it just, it's a beautiful watch. That bronze, that green. Um, I'm, I'm really happy they didn't go with a matte green when it comes to this dial. It, the, the different shades of green that you get from the ceramic bezel and that deep emerald green on the dial, it works perfectly. Um, I can't stop <laughs> talking positively about this watch because it's just, I think it's just that good. I think for a bronze dive watch, this might honestly be one of the best bronze dive watches I've ever seen. Um, it just checks every box. Everything just works cohesively on this. But yeah, guys, that's my quick review of the Rado Coptin Cook Bronze Automatic. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. But thanks for tuning in. And I'll leave you guys with this last look. See you guys soon.